the African savanna, world famous for its biodiversity and interconnected ecosystem of large fauna, interacting in a complex web of predator, prey, grazer and scavenger. There truly is no other place on earth like it. This statement is true for these modern times, but if we go back to prehistory, this ecosystem spanned the globe. Europe today could be, and probably is correctly, seen as Earth's most tamed continent. Millennia of civilization has shaped the land into what it is today, which is very little untouched wilderness. In this video, I want to go back to a time where Europe resembled the savannah of Africa. And in the complex web I mentioned, I want to focus on some of the most iconic predators of the time, the big cats. This is something of a follow-up to my previous video, documenting some of the prehistoric big cats that called North America their home, so you can also check that out if you wish to do so. But for now, let's begin. We will start off with a relatively well-known species, the European cave lion, scientifically known as Panthera spileon. This animal inhabited the European continent during the Pleistocene era. With its powerful build, majestic appearance and impressive hunting skills, the European cave lion was a dominant predator of its time. The European cave lion was a large, robust feline, comparable in size to its modern day relative, the African lion. Assuming that an African lion tips the scales at 280 kg, the cave lion could be near 320 kg. Dimensionally, they were a bit taller, longer and bulkier, but due to their heart sizes, they couldn't reach more than 360 kg. It had a muscular body, strong legs and a broad head adorned with powerful jaws and sharp canines. Its most distinguishing feature was its impressive mane, which covered its head, neck and shoulders, giving it a regal and fearsome appearance. This species inhabited a vast range across Europe, from the Iberian Peninsula to Siberia. Its preferred habitat was diverse, ranging from open woodlands to grassy plains and even rocky areas. However, the European cave lion was particularly associated with cave systems, hence its name. These caves provided shelter from the harsh weather conditions of the time, protection and a suitable environment for raising its young. The European cave lion was a solitary and territorial creature, with males having larger home ranges than females. They were highly skilled hunters, relying on their strength, speed and agility to capture a variety of prey. Fossil evidence suggests that their diet consists of primarily large herbivores such as bison, horses and deer. These lions would often ambush their prey, using their powerful forelimbs and sharp claws to bring down the animals swiftly. Aside from hunting, the European cave lion is believed to have had a complex social structure. Males would often establish territories and defend them against rival males, while females would raise their cubs in secluded dens within their home ranges. This social organisation allowed for a successful reproduction and continuation of their species. Unfortunately, the European cave lion did eventually face extinction. The exact cause of its demise is still a subject of debate among scientists. Some theories suggest that the decline of its primary prey species, coupled with climate change and competition from other predators, were the causes. A combination of these factors probably contributed to its extinction. Other, others argue that human activities such as hunting and habitat destruction played a significant role. While the cave lion would be considered well known to most with an interest in paleontology, this next European big cat I personally was not aware of until my researching for this video. There were not only lions roaming Europe but also many other species of big cat, which had their own ecological niches. 
the giant cheetah, scientifically known as Asinonyx paradinesis, was a remarkable predator that coexisted along with the cave lion during the Pleistocene era. With its impressive size, unique physical characteristics and swift hunting abilities, the giant cheetah was a formidable creature. The giant cheetah was a much larger and more robust relative of the modern day cheetah. It was roughly twice the size of today's cheetahs, putting it at around 80 to 100 kg, and about 2 meters from head to rump, not including the tail. Its reconstructed shoulder height was at 90 centimeters. It had a distinctive appearance with a long, slender body, elongated limbs, and a relatively short tail. The most notable feature of the giant cheetah was its size with some individuals even measuring up to more than twice the size of today's cheetahs. This increase in size allowed it to hunt larger prey and compete with other predators in its ecosystem. This species inhabited a wide range across Europe, Asia and Africa. Its preferred habitat included grasslands, savanna and open woodlands, where it could utilise its incredible speed and agility to its advantage. The giant cheetah had adapted to these environments, developing long, slender limbs and a flexible spine, which provided excellent running capabilities. The giant cheetah was primarily a solitary hunter, relying on its incredible speed to chase down and capture its prey. Fossil evidence suggests that it specialised in hunting large herbivores such as deer, antelope and wild horses. Its long legs and flexible spine allowed it to reach astonishing speeds estimated to be around 112 km per hour, making it one of the fastest land animals to ever have existed. In addition to its physical attributes, the giant cheetah also had unique adaptations in its skull structure. Its large nasal passages and enlarged nasal bones allowed for increased oxygen intake during high speed pursuits. This specialisation in breeding likely played a crucial role in its hunting strategies, enabling it to sustain its incredible bursts of speed for longer periods. Even with all these remarkable adaptations, the giant cheetah eventually did face extinction. The exact cause of its demise is still a subject of debate among scientists, and as with the cave lion, some theories suggest that changes in climate and habitat as well as competition from other predators contributed to its decline. The giant cheetah leaves a legacy as a remarkable predator due to its impressive size, unique physical characteristics and swift hunting abilities. Pretty much everyone has at least heard of the saber-toothed tiger. What some might not realise is that it was not one animal. It was an entire species of big cat, with many different subspecies which spanned the globe. Some of these lived during the same eras, while some were more archaic and over millions of years evolved into more modern forms. This next entry is part of the saber-toothed family, but one that's less known of their kind. Machirodus kabir, also known as the giant saber-toothed cat, was one of, if not the, largest big cat to have ever existed. Belonging to the genus Machirodus, this prehistoric cat was a distant relative of the modern day felines, but possessed unique features that set it apart. Machirodus kabir was a large and robust cat, estimated to have weighed around 300 to 400 kg, and measured up to 1.2 meters at the shoulder making it one of the largest mammalian predators ever known to have existed. Its most distinctive feature was its enormous canines, which could reach up to 20 centimetres in length. These impressive sabre-like teeth were used for hunting and subduing prey. This species inhabited various regions across Eurasia and North America during the late Miocene to the Pleistocene era, approximately 12 to 1.5 million years ago. Its preferred habitat included open grasslands, savannas and woodlands, where it could use its hunting skills effectively. The availability of large herbivores like horses, bison and deer provided ample prey for Machirodus kabir. 
the giant saber-toothed tiger was an apex predator, capable of taking down large herbivores with its powerful jaws and sharp canines. It likely employed an ambush hunting strategy, using its stealth and agility to approach its prey undetected. Once within striking distance, it would deliver a swift and lethal bite to the throat or neck of its prey, severing vital arteries and causing rapid incapacitation. This animal was likely a solitary hunter, as there is little evidence to suggest it lived in social groups. Its size and strength allowed it to dominate its hunting grounds and fend off potential competitors. Additionally, it is believed that Machirodus Kabir had excellent endurance, enabling it to pursue prey over long distances until the exhaustion set in. As the environment evolved and large herbivores diminished in numbers, the giant saber-toothed cat faced increasing challenges in finding suitable prey, ultimately leading to its extinction. While Machirodus Kabir is no longer with us, its legacy lives on through the study of fossils and scientific research. These revenants provide valuable insights into the ecology and behaviour of this fascinating predator. They also serve as a reminder of the diverse and dynamic nature of our planet's history. We have already covered one type of prehistoric lion in this video, but these were not the only ones to call Europe their home in this era. There was another which, while still different in many ways, would have acted much the same as their extant African cousins would today. The European lion, scientifically known as Panthera leo europea, was a majestic and powerful creature that once inhabited the continent. With its regal appearance, impressive size and hunting prowess, the European lion held a significant place in the natural history of Europe. The European lion closely resembled its modern-day relative, the African lion. It had muscular build, large head adorned with a magnificent mane, and sharp canines designed for hunting and tearing through flesh. The size of the European lion varied, with males typically being larger than females. This subspecies was one of the largest lions. The exoskeleton of an adult male, which was found in 1985 near Siegsdorf in Germany, had a shoulder height of around 1.2 meters and a head to body length of 2.1 meters without the tail. This is similar to the size of a very large modern lion. Their impressive physical stature and striking mane made them an iconic symbol of strength and dominance. The European lion once inhabited a vast range across Europe, from the British Isles to the Balkans, and as far east as Russia. Its preferred habitat included diverse landscapes such as forests, woodlands, grasslands and even mountainous regions. This adaptability allowed the European lion to thrive in various environments, using its hunting skills to capture prey efficiently. As a social species, the European lion lived in prides consisting of related females, their offspring and a dominant male, quite similar to how African lion social structures behave today. These prides had well-defined territories, which they defended against rival lions and other potential threats. The dominant male played a vital role in protecting the pride, ensuring the survival of the cubs and maintaining order within the group. This lion was a skilled and opportunistic hunter. Its primary prey consisted of large herbivores such as red deer, wild boar and European bison. These lions would work together to bring down their prey, utilising their strength, speed and cooperative hunting strategies. The females played a crucial role in stalking and ambushing the prey, while the males provided the brute force needed to overpower and subdue it. As with the other big cats in this video, the European lion eventually faced extinction. Some theories suggest that a combination of factors as we have already mentioned with previous entries, including habitat loss, human activities such as hunting and the decline of its prey contributed to its extinction. 
Additionally, the spread of agriculture and the rise of human civilization led to the destruction of the European lion's natural habitats, further limiting its survival chances. The extinction of the European lion marked the end of an era. Its disappearance left a void in the European ecosystem, altering the dynamics of the natural world. Despite its adaptability and hunting skills, the European lion eventually could not survive in this ever-changing environment, leaving behind a legacy of awe and admiration for its place in the natural history of Europe. The last big cat I'll be covering is related to one of the most elusive and solitary big cats that still lives with us today, the jaguar. Panthera gombasiogensis, also known as the European jaguar, is a panthera species that lived from about 2 to 0.35 million years ago in Europe. The first fossils were excavated in 1938 in Gombasek, Slovakia. European jaguars were larger than the modern day jaguars found in South America, such as Pantanal and Peruvian jaguars. With a body weight between 70 and 210 kg, they were therefore probably capable of bringing down much larger prey. Like other Panthera species, they were thought to have been sexually dimorphic, with significantly larger males. The European jaguar is also thought to have had a coat adorned with rosette-shaped spots like some of its modern cousins. As a solitary and territorial species, the European jaguar had a wide home range which it fiercely defended against intruders. It was a master of stealth and camouflage, using its spotted coat to blend seamlessly into its surroundings. This enabled the European Jaguar to approach its prey undetected, increasing the chances of a successful hunt. The European Jaguar was an opportunistic hunter with a diverse diet. Its primary prey consisted of ungulates such as deer, wild boar, and ibex. However, it was also known to hunt smaller mammals, reptiles, and even fish in certain habitats. This kind of adaptability is rare in big cat species, so it would have greatly increased the European jaguar's survivability. With its powerful jaws and sharp teeth, the European jaguar could overpower and subdue most prey with ease. Eventually, this animal, like the others, faced their inevitable extinction. The causes are thought to be pretty much the same as the others, but also from competition from the European lion. As the lion's territory expanded, the jaguars diminished. In the end, the lion won out, and the jaguar took its place in the annals of history. These were just some of the big cats that lived in the time of prehistory. If there are any more additional ones you would like covered in a future video, or even a different species of prehistoric animal, please let me know in the comments, as I'm always interested in learning more. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.